Hey everybody, what's going on? So if you're new to this channel, what I talk about is signs, symbolism, synchronicity, and how it coincides with gematria, which is the practice of coding numbers into words and phrases. And it might sound ridiculous, but if you learn to apply this for yourself, and I'll leave some links in the description, you will find that it is absolutely not ridiculous at all. It stems back, and probably even farther, but it stems back to Jewish mysticism, which is called Kabbalah. And within Kabbalah, they practice gematria, and they also have the belief that God created the world by merging the letter with the number. Whether that means that there's truly some supreme being sitting up in the clouds watching down on us, or if, you know, God is truly just all around us, and it is... God is this mathematical world that we all live in. It, it truly exists. If you practice this knowledge, check out some links in the description. You'll see that all throughout history, it is scripted this way. And you'll see that our mainstream media is every day is scripted this way. You'll see that our sports leagues are all scripted this way. I mean, I have thousands of videos showing, you know, multiple examples of how this is exists you know it's not just a coincidence when you have over a thousand videos showing these same patterns and how it works you know so anyway after studying this for a while you it really seems to bring it out a lot you know you, you start to really either you must be picking up on some frequencies or i i don't exactly fully understand what happens but all of these weird things always seem to happen to me, and when I figure them out, they're showing me certain things. And the other day when I was at work, and, and this is what synchronicity is. When you say you're, you know, reading a book and you're, you're looking at a specific word, and then all of a sudden the TV will say that specific word. Or say, you know, you went to work in the morning and you were talking about some guy you hadn't seen forever and then that guy ends up coming in the store and talks to you and you have a conversation that's what synchronicity is and i if you understand gematria you'll understand more of why you these things happen to you such as you know even people talk a lot about seeing the clock at 11 11 or 9 11 or 12 12 and you know if you learn Gematria, you'll understand more of what is going on with this stuff. But the other day I went to work and I came home and I finally got to sit down and relax a little bit. And I wanted to blog about and then possibly make a video, which I'm doing now, about the Putin-Donald Trump uh, summit that happened on July 16th. And I sat down on my chair and I, I started researching a little bit. I went to, you know, just, just typing in some some words and seeing what they equaled and trying to find the pattern that is going on with it. And for whatever the reason, I stopped for a second and I looked up at the TV. And on the TV, my girlfriend was watching Family Guy. And the episode just so happened to be an episode that... They were watching Rocky IV, or maybe it's called PD4. That's what the episode's called. But they were, or they were watching Rocky IV, and in this video it was a bootleg from Russia, where the Russian actually beats Rocky instead of Rocky beating the Russian. So Peter challenges Vladimir Putin of all people, you know, to a boxing match. And I'm thinking, how odd is that, right? I'm looking up Vladimir Putin right now. Now the TV has it. And it wasn't live on TV because we were watching it on Hulu, or my girlfriend watched it on Hulu. So it wasn't like it was playing because of their recent summit. She just was randomly watching an episode, and this was the episode that was on. One with Vladimir Putin, just as I was looking up Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump's summit. So, and, you know, recently I've been talking about Rocky Colavito and the birth of my son, and how it synced up to Rocky symbolism. We just had Philadelphia win the Super Bowl, and much, much more. You know, and Rocky was important to all of that. So, 
I'm going to skip over it because if I, I don't want to lose you, but the, there's a bunch of stuff synced up to Valentine's Day and the Stoneman Douglas shooting and the 49th episode of Family Guy was the where they canceled Family Guy originally and that was aired on Valentine's Day of 2002. And Rocky's born on July 6th, or, which in most parts of the world, they write the date as 6-7. Valentine's equals 67 in Gematria, and Eastern Orthodox Valentine's is celebrated on that day. And Sylvester Stallone also born on that day. So it's really important to, you know, Philadelphia. So, I mean, but like I said, I don't want to lose you. So what I noticed about this episode right away, when I saw it, when I looked up this episode, I noticed it was season 16, season 16, episode 7. And if you remember, Trump and Putin met on the date of 16-7, July 16th. And then this one with Putin in it, Season 16, Episode 7. And by studying this, I know that 167 is the 39th prime number. And, you know, when you go to the Gematria calculator here, the, the summit was took place in Finland. Finland equals 39. It was on 16 slash 7, the 39th prime. I'm getting the synchronicity with season 16, episode 7 of Family Guy. Also, the, the president of Finland, his birthday just so happened to be 39 days after this summit. 39 days, I'll point it out here. His birthday is on August 24th, which is 39 days after this summit. So, you know. And PD4, the name of the episode of Gematria, it also equals 39. So the episode equals 39, 16 and 7, the 39th prime, Finland 39, and the president of Finland, the summit happened 39 days before his birthday. What are the odds of that, you know? A lot of this stuff with Kabbalah, it, you know, it, it was adopted into Freemasonry, which the United States was absolutely based off of Freemason Jesuit principles and a lot of Freemasonry, you know, and Kabbalah and whatever else, it stems back to the Old Testament that has the 39 chapters. So, you know, 39 is an important number in regards to Freemasonry, even it's, you know, 13 times 3, which is, you know, 13, 13, and 13, think about it, 13 colonies. 13 stripes on the flag, and so on. What also is interesting is that in Gematria, Vladimir Putin equals 87, and Russia equals 87, and this meeting happened in Helsinki, where I wrote Helsinki, but Helsinki equals 87, Helsinki, Finland equals 87, and even the president here of Finland with the little thing on top of his name, the two dots there, if you do it that way, his name equals 87 in Gematria. So, the Finland president equals 87, Vladimir Putin equals 87, Russia 87, Helsinki 87, Helsinki Finland and reverse reduced equals 87. 87 is a really important number in regards to Freemasonry as well, because if you write out 87 as words, 87 equals, just look at these, 139, 58, 158, 50, and look at Freemasonry. 139, you know, almost an identical match, so it's very important. And then think about 39 in regards to Freemasonry and the Old Testament. Also, the, the name of this episode, the big way equals 87. So it equals 39, the small way, big way, 87, PD4. Sinking up to all everything. Putin, Russia, Finland. It also equals 33 in the other one of the base ciphers. Think about the you know the 33 pillars outside the the Freemason headquarters in Washington, DC, and the you know a bunch of other stuff. The the highest degree is the 33rd degree of Scottish Rite Freemasonry, and Jesus supposedly died at the age of 33, and there's 33 vertebrae in your back with the, you know, the ancient 
spiritual belief of the kundalini that wraps around the vertebrae and you know kundalini equals 58 like freemasonry so i mean it, it's just a super important number a really big important number in regards to freemasonry also pd4 i noticed equaled 102 just like world war equals 102 and i'll, I'll, I'll explain a little bit more about that as we move along because it's really important that's been a big theme all year really even this year is the 114th world series and in gematria world war equals 114 and we also had a little stuff with the kneeling during the national anthem and it became popular to stand during the national anthem the star spangled banner at the world series just before World War One came to an end. The Boston Red Sox versus the Chicago Cubs. But notice World War 102, 114, also 48, which I'll talk about in just a second. But you know, Holocaust equals 114 and 48, 33. You know, Pearl Harbor equals 114. Jmatria. So it's a definite connection. Even Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong-un, 114, 48. World War I even was proposed by Woodrow Wilson, right? World War, WW, Woodrow Wilson, WW. It was proposed on 4-2 uh, of 1917, right? 4-2, and the word war even equals 42, and World War, if you noticed, also equals 42. And, you know, I'm not saying that there's going to be a world war but they are coding this and programming this code into our brains. And they're, they're, really, they're really putting this in people's brains. Whether it truly is going to happen or not, maybe it will be five years from now. Maybe that's how the system works. And I've noticed that sometimes things I'm talking about, you know, a year or two before, seem to become really important again years later. But moral of the story is that they're they're trying to put this programming into your brain no matter what they want you to think about world war think about kim jong-un recent the recent summit on 612 in sumerian gematria world war equals 612 you know and now we have vladimir putin and trump supposedly you know being treasonous and whatever else they're they're, they're trying to program world war or just war in general, into the general public's brain. And Helsinki, where this this meeting took place, it also equals 48 in Gematria. In reverse reduced, Russia equals 48, Donald Trump equals 48, Kim Jong-un equals 48, World War equals 48. Remember, Mike Pence is the 48th vice president Paul Ryan is 48 years old, so it's a big, important number. Israel, which was created out of World War and is pulling the strings, you know, and Israel, think about it, the false Jews, the Jews who understand, you know, pr many Jews practice Kabbalah, you know, they understand the system, but Israel declared its independence in the year 48. And that's why just before or after Donald Trump won the election, we got the closest supermoon since the year 48. And, you know, the word wall equals 48. And Donald Trump, we found out he won the election on the anniversary of the Berlin Wall coming down. And the Indians lost to the World Series just before Trump won the election. Cleveland equals 48. And the Indians haven't won since the year 48. And they even won that World Series. That World Series began 145 days after 14 slash 5, the day that Israel declared its independence by a guy named David Ben Gurion that equals 145 in Gematria. And that's why the Cubs won the World Series, because it was 145 years after the great Chicago fire in Chicago, Illinois equals 145 in 2016. Some other interesting things in regards to how these words are, you know, synonyms with the, the four different ciphers that I'm using here. 
Helsinki also equals 42, like World War, like war. Helsinki, Finland equals 75. Russia equals 75 in reverse. And the president of Finland also equals 75 in Gematria. If you remember, World War Three also equals 75 in Gematria. That's why after the whole thing was over, the whole drama with Donald Trump, uh, you know, and the word would, would equals 75. If you remember, according to the Swiss records, Kim Jong-un's birthday even on 7 slash 5. So, very, very important. We got the story of the nuclear scare of Putin saying he's going to, or, you know, the video saying they were going to bomb Florida pretty much. That was 75 days before he opened up the Crimea Bridge as well. So, definitely something to think about. This number 75. Russia, 75. World War Three 75. I don't know what it all means, but there are, there's definitely something very significant. You know, the number 31 in all these stories, too. That nuke story came on 3-1. Crimea equals 31. Putin and Kim Jong-un's birthdays are three months and one day apart. Cold War equals 31. The president of Finland assumed the office on March 1st, 3-1 of 2012. And he was also born in the year 48, right? So 31, I don't know the full significance of it, but there's definitely a pattern there. You know, I documented a whole bunch about Putin when this Florida nuke story happened. It happened... Like 220 days after his birthday, Donald John Trump equals 220, and uh, Pope Francis equals 220. Or he doesn't equal 220, but 220 is a big number to the Jesuits, and he's the first Jesuit pope. And the Jesuits were created when the 220th pope was the pope, and Pope Francis's birthday is two months and 20 days after the Jesuit anniversary. Donald Trump and went to a Jesuit university, Fordham University, and his birthday is 187 days apart from Pope Francis's. And if you read out what the Jesuits are called in Gematria, they're called the Society of Jesus, that equals 187. And Donald Trump had his National Convention in Cleveland that began on 18-7, just after Cleveland won the NBA Finals, right, for the first time in 51 years, and then Cleveland Indians went to the World Series and lost just before Donald Trump won the election. But his National Convention on 18-7, and that was 187 days before he took office. So, it's all synced up, you know. And once again, back to Freemasonry, Washington, D.C. equals 187. George Washington equals 187. And the Torah has 187 chapters. And what the Freemasons are called, the ancient accepted Scottish rite of Freemasonry, that also equals 187 in Gematria. And think about George Washington being a 33rd degree Freemason. And the reason that's also interesting with all of that is that this meeting was 84 days before Putin's birthday, and Vladimir Putin also equals 84, just like the United States of America, and the word Jesuit equals 84. You know, Louisiana Purchase equals 84. Thomas Jefferson, the guy who got the Louisiana Purchase, equals 84. Revolutionary War equals 84. George III, who we beat, right? George the third equals eighty four in Gematria. So no coincidence. Also Vladimir Putin equals one hundred and sixty eight in another one of the base ciphers and seven sixteen, the day that leaves one hundred and sixty eight days in the year and the Finland president, his name in reverse equals one hundred and sixty eight, and it was also the one hundred and ninety seventh day of the year. That's the 45th prime number. Trump's the 45th president. Mike Pence equals 45. World War II came to an end in the year 45. And 
Earlier I was talking about Valentine's because it's really synced up to this year. And Valentine's is the 45th day. Something I noticed with Donald Trump in North Korea is the word Valentine equals 612 as well. Just like the World War. And they met on 612. And Trump's birthday leaves 200 days in the year. Valentine's Day equals 200 in reverse. And 19 slash 7, the 45th prime, that's the 200th day of the year. So, you know, just, I don't know, this weird synchronicity, this whole story absolutely by the numbers. That's why I'm making this video to show the mainstream media story, but I also want to show the synchronicity because I've shown so many things where the mainstream media is synced up to things that are happening in my own life. And this is no different, you know. There's no doubt they wanted me to, whatever was helping me, or however this works, no doubt it was season 16, episode 7. And then they meet on 16 slash 7, you know, the 39th prime. So, we'll leave it at that. Hopefully it makes sense. I wanted to make a short video. My battery keeps dying, so, and I'm being, like, really loud inside the house with the baby, so. Uh, gonna end the video there. Have a good one. Peace.